So if you've been following along uh, our videos lately, you will notice that we have done three or two installments of Carving Your Own Path, a little video series about local businesses that we find interesting for some reason or another, mostly small businesses, guys that are showing their way, their example of how they've carved their own path into their, into their dream job, we hope. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've got another one up, yep. which is a bit outside my... Uh, your area of my wheelhouse choice. but it's right in your wheelhouse it is and in fact I dug this particular crowned heads hat out of the archives specifically for this intro video do you know why yeah uh, no because the design of this hat was inspired by a hat that I saw one of the uh, the Dogtown Zephyr crew back in the 70s in Santa Monica had the same hat with an S and an M and the three stars so I kind of did a little riff on it so that goes back to do you know what Dogtown and Z Boys are? Uh, it's all a big skateboard culture Correct. thing, right? Yep, absolutely. I, I kind of I can read Wikipedia like, I, like the rest of them. <laughs> I grew up on a skateboard, basically, um, but we used it more for transportation around the city. Uh, we have a couple up here. We I have a few. We have longboard. We have. I'm into it. I love the whole culture of it and everything. And, and so we decided to shine a light on a, a local business by the name of Salem Town Board Company. They're about five miles down the road. Um, not only are they making some great great decks and, and, and great skateboards. Um, they're the also, well, decks. the deck is the, the board, then ah. you've got the truck and the wheel, right, so. Gotcha. Which part of it do you fall off on when you break your leg as an older guy that's in his 50s? So let, let me cool. put it in, in your reference. You remember the clay wheels <laughs> with the ball bearings? <laughs> yeah. That you'd hit the rock and then you go flying. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. You, that now it rings a bell, right? Gotcha. That was before polyurethane. Gotcha. Had urethane wheels. Anyway, um, so these guys are doing something great. They're giving back to the community. They're providing jobs for youth, um, making great products, carving their own path. Yeah. Anything it, else? So they, they went into kind of a depressed neighborhood here, right? And, mm -hmm. and the businesses in, in that area where they're making a difference. So giving right. kids jobs, showing them a craft, teaching them a trade. Um, really fascinating story. We hope you enjoy it. And uh, anything else you want to that's, add? That's enough. Here it is. Take a watch. This job was kind of me at the time taking all the different things that I had enjoyed doing during my life. Uh, I was not at all an expert in business. I wasn't at all an expert in social enterprise. I just had done a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Uh, starting a handmade skateboard company was, uh, there wasn't anything strategic about it. It was mostly just this, these are the things that I have done. These are things that I enjoy. I think this would be a good way to move forward. Have startup capital. I, I, didn't, I didn't come with money. All I had was like my time. So I started this company in 2015 out of the basically a pursuit of trying to figure out what would be best for my neighborhood. I was asking people in my neighborhood basically what, what was needed uh, in the neighborhood. What I heard from the aunties and grandmothers and mothers was that uh, there was a lot of concern for the young men and for their futures. And, uh, and what I saw was that there's, there weren't a lot of opportunities for first jobs, for first employment opportunities. Uh, and the jobs that were available, often they were competing with their parents for those same opportunities. When I moved into a low-income neighborhood and started asking questions, certain things started coming up that um, I don't know, I didn't feel like I could look at it just be like, oh, that's interesting, but it, I, I felt like, you know, I need to be a part of the solution. My brother asked if I could come and join him.
opinion. And because I'm the business guy that I am, my first question was like, well, what can you offer me? And he said, nothing. And uh, I never wanted to make a lot of money. I never was in it to be rich, uh, but I wanted what I do with my life to matter. And um, I think that's been a big reason why I've been here, why I've stayed and why, um, like what we do isn't easy. It's very much a sacrifice. I can sacrifice that because I know that what we're doing here is important and needed. And so I basically graduated, drove here overnight, um, and started uh, like two days after I graduated college. Sure, we make skateboards and sure we make things out of wood, but ultimately the reason we're here is to be good neighbors, to uh, hire young men from this neighborhood. And, uh, and mentor them before they're good and be in their corner. Um, and that's why we do what we do. We're doing what we can. Um, you know, if it was just us trying to save people, we would have burned out years ago because we can't do that. Uh, but what keeps us in it is 